what's going on you wonderful people my name is brandon welcome back to creighton tv so in today's quick video tutorial i'm gonna show you about streamlabs obs on the mac everybody's saying they've been having they can't get their display capture to work and everything else so i'm gonna show you a little quick tutorial how to do that i did this to work really properly you need two monitors you know you can't really do it off one because you can't show your um your chat the gameplay and the, mon the di display that you're trying to show them something else at the same time so you know but you should use two monitors i'm gonna show you with one i only have one right now in my opinion i would advise you to use two monitors so what you're going to do is go to your streamlabs obs as you have it up right now got everything else set up everything else in real time you have everything else you got sources as you see right here you got the sources you're gonna come over here and add a source now this is where you're gonna find everything and just if you haven't known already on mac os that I don't know if it's already been here, but it's here now. Uh, just be quick. Uh, Streamlabs did add um, instant replay. So, you know, you can instant replay the highlights and everything. The little quick button add on right there. But we're not going to worry about that today. We're going to do right over here where it says standard. So they have display capture and they have window capture. Now, window capture, you can capture your window. All right, so let me show you. I'll show you. I'll click on window capture. I'll show you both. Quick tutorial. You know, add the source. Get right there. So when you get right here and you, everybody keeps saying, I have a blank screen. You have to select an option and find out where your window is go through here that's why i said it's best to have two monitors instead of one but mine would be see i can do streamlabs obs see if i do streamlabs obs it shows you my streamlabs obs which you really don't want so you want to show people stuff this is not going to be the one that you want so hit cancel right click so the one that you want to do is you know to show people you're going to go back to add source come down here to display capture that's where you're going to want it but you need two monitors because on the one monitor it's not going to pull up the display because your HDMI cable, which you should have plugged, if you have two monitors, should be plugged plug into your MacBook or your iMac. Can't capture nothing if you're showing your gameplay screen, like how you guys can see my game, my screen, get my gameplay screen in the background. Can't capture nothing. So if I clicked on Add Source and just left it dis Display Capture, see, there's nothing for it to display to at all. What you'll have to do is, this is how you do one monitor setup. You go over here, which is pointless. Unplug your Elgato from the output section. Go all the way over here when you have one monitor. That's why I said this is best to work on two monitors but go all the way over there to plug it into your dongle to connect wait for your screen to pop up see so now it's gonna switch now my screen will be up there let me let me open up the web page real quick so now we're back so you see i still got the gameplay we cut we're gonna go back to add source now if you want to do if you have two monitors you display or window capture doesn't really matter browser backgrounds if you do display primary monitor or secondary monitor so I do second display, add source, you click on display number one, hit done. There you go. There's my Instagram right there if you want to follow me. That's a display capture right there. And then this, if you wanted to show people at your screen and everything else, what it looks like, that's display capture. Or follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Instagram, thank you to that 10,000. Let's go. But remove. Now, if you want to do window capture, do the same thing. Add source, window capture, add source. Go there. Come through select options. See where it says Google Chrome. So you don't have it already. So that's how you do all that. You know, then you can adjust it to where you like and everything else. That's the difference between window and display capture. But it works best if you have two monitors set up. I'm gonna say it again, two monitors, not one, because you don't want to keep switching back and forth for pulling out your uh, output from your Elgato and then plugging it into your, that's doing too much. So you have two monitors, you're good to go. You got any other questions? Leave a comment down below. If you need help with anything else, I'm always feel, here to help. Follow me on my Instagram, follow me on Twitter. You no, know, try to get to that 10,000. And we're on the way to a thousand subscribers. Woo! Then we got that giveaway for y'all. So I hope you did enjoy this video this is your boy brandon coming to you from creighton tv leave a comment down below follow me on my social medias if you have any help i'm always here to help you yeah and that i'm saying that day. god bless everybody have a blessed day yo so just wanted to say real quick if you did enjoy the beat in the video the music beat in the video you now go ahead and check out my brother's page gep beats it will be linked down in the description box below check it out tons of beats on there you need some beats for your uh youtube channel videos whatever go ahead and hit the link down in the description gep beats music check them out that's where i get all my music from god bless everybody peace Thank you.